Welcome to the McNeese Family Law Podcast Series. This podcast will address collaborative law, an option for divorce and custody cases by Deborah Cantor, attorney at law. Ms. Cantor practices in the Family Law Group at McNeese. The decision to divorce is an important one, but the process you choose to obtain a divorce may be even more significant. McNeese offers its family law clients the option to proceed in their divorce by court process, collaborative law, or through mediation. In this segment, I will discuss collaborative law. Collaborative law is an alternative dispute resolution method in which both parties retain collaboratively trained counsel and agree to resolve their case without involvement of the courts. The parties and their counsel sign participation agreements committing to several important things. First, there is an agreement not to go to court or threaten to go to court. Instead, the parties agree to meet in a series of conferences to identify issues related to their case and to resolve them through a needs and interest-based negotiation. The courts must be used to obtain a decree, but the use of the courts is by mutual agreement of the parties alone. Second, the parties agree to a full and fair disclosure of asset, debt, and income information. The collaborative process is transparent with both parties understanding exactly what the marital estate is comprised of and the financial impact of the decisions they make. Third, there is an agreement to utilize joint experts to help the parties understand the actual values of their assets. Whether a couple must have a house or pension appraised, they do so by jointly selecting an expert who represents both interests. The process involves systematic gathering of information guided by the collaborative attorneys. The attorneys also help clients identify their needs, interests, and goals. Both parties, with the help of their attorney, create various options which are then reviewed to arrive at an agreed-upon resolution which best suits their family. Collaborative law utilizes allied professionals such as coaches and financial neutrals who help facilitate the process and keep the parties working towards the common goal of resolution. Unlike the litigation process, Collaborative law encourages communication between the parties and an identification of the specific needs and interests of each. It allows for creative problem solving and a resolution crafted within a time frame set by the parties. In the collaborative process, the parties set the priorities to be addressed and how quickly or slowly the process moves. The process also allows for privacy, which has great appeal to many clients. McNeese offers trained collaborative attorneys to help you should you decide this is the right process for you. I encourage you to review our collaborative website at centralpadivorceoptions.com for more detailed information, including frequently asked questions and resources. If you would like to learn more about collaborative law, please contact me using the information on the following screen.